It is day eight at this point and uh, working on the sourdough. I'm gonna check out the starter and see what we got here. Hopefully it's good. Um, might need in a couple more days, I'm not really sure. We will show you how to test that out though. So first off, we check it out and it does look good. It did rise some, not a ton. So I think I'm actually going to uh, add in more whole wheat flour this time as opposed to 50-50. I think I'm gonna do a 75-25 on this. Um, it seems like the whole wheat gives it more active. So that's what I'm looking for, some more activity. I uh, made some more sourdough pancakes today and they were delicious. Uh, so let's check this out first. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to test this. It's the uh, float test, as I call it. So I'm just gonna take some water and then uh, I'll take a scoop of it with a clean spoon and drop it right into the water. And if it floats, it is ready. If it does not float and it sinks, it will need another day or two. So hopefully it floats, but um, I guess we'll see. And it's, well, it's floating. And it's starting to sink. I think it's close. You can see that this big chunk here is floating. This is floating here, but this little squiggly down here started to sink. I think it's really close though, which is great news. So we're gonna let it go another day and uh, hopefully tomorrow it's ready. Then we can start working on the dough, which takes a whole nother day to then process to be able to uh, bake it up. And we'll be back checking the rest out. Hopefully with better results tomorrow or the day after. And uh, then we'll be able to start baking some bread, which again takes about two days the way you have to let it sit and proof, sit overnight, and then we can bake the next day. So anyway, that's gonna be it for today's update. We'll catch you next time and hopefully have better results. Well, I think we got some action today. That uh, extra whole wheat I added in yesterday, this thing is looking really good. Haven't opened it up yet, but take a look. Look at how much it went up. It actually started falling back down. It was up a little higher. But this thing is pressurized to the max right now. So I'm going to pop that open. We're going to do a little float test. And uh, hopefully it works out well. And we can be ready to start uh, baking, I guess, in two days. Because it's got a, it's got a proof. But uh, let's pop this thing open and see what it looks like. Very good sign. Look at how much it went up. It was below here, and now it's all the way up here. Oh yeah, it smells really good. Okay, so we are gonna do a little float test here, and uh, drop a little bit in the water and see what we get. If it floats and then sinks again, 
I'm gonna do a little research. Um, I don't remember if it has to stay floating or if it just has to float initially and then it'll eventually sink. But uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we'll take a little bit of this. Look how stretchy that is. Okay, drop it in. I don't know, it looks like it's floating to me. It's not sinking at all. I like it. All right, so I think we're at a good point here. Uh, we're ready to start uh, the process of making the dough. So on that, I'm, I'm gonna dive in. Um, not tonight, I don't have the time to do it right now. I'm gonna just set this back to the side and uh, close it back up and let it do its thing. And then tomorrow I will check it again and hopefully it's uh, still good and we don't have to wait another day, but uh, it should be good to go for tomorrow. At least that's the hope. So cross my fingers and uh, we'll check back in on it tomorrow. Hopefully we are starting to make our loaf. Well, I think we got some good news. It is day nine of sourdough starter and uh, it looked promising yesterday. Float test went well. Um, there looks to be some activity still in the uh, starter. So we are going to do a float test now to see how it comes out. And if everything goes well there, we are going to proceed to start making our loaf and hopefully by tonight we'll have a good loaf of bread. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, Oh yeah, you can hear the gases. Oh, it looks really good. You can see all the bubbles that formed in here overnight. It smells sour, a little bit of sweet. Looks good. I'm gonna do the same thing I did yesterday. I'm just gonna take a little off the top and uh, see if it floats. It does. Look at that. She's floating right on top, not sinking. I am thoroughly convinced we are ready to go. So with that, we're going to have to measure out our uh, components and start the mixture.